Okay guys, welcome back. It's Lisa. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick haul with you guys and just showing you some of the stuff that I purchased this weekend um, while I was out shopping. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to get started right here in front. We're going to start with Goodwill. And I purchased this little Chatsford teapot. And this teapot is an English teapot. And I paid $1.99 for a hand... Um, hand thrown um, teapot and normally when you purchase these chat for tea, teapots online they start at about $28 so yeah got that for $1.99 actually and at my local Goodwill so I thought that was real good and then I also got these milk glass teacups and I just love these milk glass teacups. Okay, I hope you guys can see that detailing on that teacup. That's really pretty. Yeah, I got six of those. And those were 50 cents each. And then right over here, I got um, this really, really beautiful crystal decanter. And that uh, decanter is made in the sticker the sticker is still on it here around the neck right around here yeah, I know you guys won't be able to see but it says made in Poland and um, so I got that um, decanter that decanter was three dollars and then right beside it yeah I love this decanter and I was thinking about how I'm gonna use this decanter is um, I may have mentioned to you guys in another haul video that um, I'm going to be doing the redoing the den my den for my husband. So it's really going to be kind of like his man cave. And so I'm going to try to either do him a bar cabinet or a bar cart. I haven't really decided. But when I saw that, I just thought that would be perfect in his um, do a bar cart or a bar cabinet. Bar carts and bar cabinets, well, bar carts were very popular in like the 50s and 60s. And now I'm seeing online like everybody is doing, you know, um, a bar card or a bar cabinet. Something, you know, to do with entertaining like it used to be kind of a throwback. But I'm glad to see that people are doing that. So I want to do that as well. And then I got this hurricane here. And I'm going to try to turn this over without dropping it. As you can see, or you may be able to see, that's a crate and barrel hurricane. I paid two dollars for this hurricane. Two dollars for a crate and barrel hurricane this size. And normally, when you find um, a crate and barrel hurricane like this, this size, I looked it up online. It's called. Um, let's see. called Bella. It's a Bella Hurricane by Crate and Barrel. And normally those Crate and Barrel Hurricanes this size, they start for like wow almost $30 or at least $30. So I paid $2 for that so that was a good find. And let's see, move it on. And here to these little plates that I got here. This little saucer. This little saucer was 50 cents, and this came from Restore. So if you guys have a Habitat for Humanities Restore in your area, shop there. They have some really good stuff, too. And it's for a good cause if you know what they do. They build houses for um, people who may not ever really be able to afford to have a home. So it's a good cause. It's a good place to shop and support. So, yeah. Got that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love the detailing on this plate. And I bought the saucer. This is all they had. I bought the saucer. I bought this plate. The, the saucer was 50 cents. And then the platter was 75 Was The plate, I'm sorry, was 75 cents. And then the platter was 89 cents. So, I just had them... They put some paper on it, so I'm going to just take the paper off so you can see it. Yep. 
and that's the plate, the dinner plate, and then of course here's the platter. I just thought the detailing on it was so pretty. I might just put these on like a stand and display them in the kitchen, or maybe I will um, might hang them on the wall. I'm not really sure yet. I gotta find a space to hang them on the wall. I might put them in my dining room. Maybe hang them on the wall in there. The three of them. And then I got from Restore, I got these um, placemats. I hope you guys can, can see this. I'm trying to be zoomed in so you can see it, but I think I need to zoom out a little bit. So you can see that. But yeah. It's a real pretty pink placemat. And I don't even have any pink placemats, so... When I saw these, I was just like, it just kind of struck me to go ahead and get them. So, yeah, and these placemats were 50 cents each. And I got one, two, three, four of them. I got four, so that was $2 just for the placemats. That was a really good deal. And um, so I probably just used them. These would be good next year for, like, Easter or something like that. Or maybe even use them on a Mother's Day table. Something like that would be pretty. If you stay home for Mother's Day, if you don't go out, you want to set a table or something. But yeah, that'd be good. And then I got these ramekins, and I thought they were real pretty. And the ramekins, um, they were 50 cents each. I got six of those. So that was, what, $3? So yeah, got the, all of that at the... Habitat for Humanities Restore. And moving on, I got um, these towels at these kitchen towels. I got them at Marshall's. And they were, I don't know if you guys can see that, but they were $4.50. And it came with a set of two. Well, it's actually a set of four towels, actually. But yeah. Four fifty. I love the stripe on it because it just made me think of my kitchen curtains, my cafe curtains in my kitchen with that stripe there. So I thought, oh yeah, I'll definitely be getting those. So I got those, and then I picked up some lanterns that I'm going to be using on my front porch um, when I'm decorating um, for spring. So I saw those lanterns, and they um, they were seven dollars and ninety nine cents each at Marshall so I had to get those. I hope you guys can see that. Let me get back here so you can see it. Yeah. But I like those lanterns. The only thing that was a little bit of a disappointment for me with the lanterns is that the lanterns are not like this is not metal. This is like that resin plastic and then the glass is not real either. It's like a plexiglass. But it's just concerned me a little bit because it gets so hot in the summer. I just hope they don't get kind of dingy, this, you know, it can get kind of scratch looking or the sun gets too hot, it can kind of crack it a little bit. So I hope that doesn't happen. They will be on my front porch, which is covered, so hopefully that won't happen. And then I went to Home Depot and I found this rug to go on my front porch also in a nice neutral color. I hope you guys can see that. It's a striped rug. I would open it and unwrap, unroll it, but I'd never be able to get it back in the bag if I unroll it. So um, I just keep it in there. It's um, it is a Hampton Bay. I think it's what it is. Hampton. Yeah, I think that says Hampton Bay. Yep, Hampton Bay. It's an indoor outdoor rug. Let me see what the measurements are on this rug. See, it is five feet wide by six feet long, so it's a real good size rug. It's a five by six, and I got that for twenty eight dollars. It's on sale now. Home Depot was doing um this week. They're doing like a black. Friday sale, but they're doing like um, 
a deal of the day or something every day of the week. They're doing a deal of the day. So last week, um, last Friday, they were doing, um, they had some plants for sale. And that's why I got, um, I got my, I can't even think of what the name of the shrubs are, gardenias. I got three gardenias in a gallon pot. They had them on sale for $2.50. So I snapped up three of those. And I'm going to put those in my backyard. But yeah. So I just wanted to do this quick little haul with you guys. To let you see what I had picked up this weekend. And um. Yeah. So. Hope y'all are having a good day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.